I need to get a job, and for that, you need amazing projects to really show employers your abilities and wow them. So I gave myself the challenge to try and create something worthy in less than 24 hours. I thought, what is possible within 24 hours looks cool and is somewhat difficult to make. And I settled with the very original idea of a sorting algorithm visualizer. In the world, computers are always using sorting algorithms for different tasks. For example, a company may have a really large database and need to sort all the items in a particular order. So displaying knowledge of how sorting algorithms work is a huge plus. For my program, there will be a lot of rectangles with different heights on the screen, and I need to write some fancy code to reorganize them from shortest to tallest. Easy enough. First things first, we need to establish our chosen algorithms. Okay, that'll work. And with some simple code, we have our buttons for the algorithms on screen. Bam. Now, for the actual interesting part, the way I'll be implementing the bars to be sorted is to generate a random list of numbers between 0 and 1. Each number will be multiplied by 100, and this will give us a percentage value which we can then use when setting the height of the bars. So the closer a number's value is to 1, the taller the bar will be. After implementing this, we get a simple list of bars as such. So now, we can put it straight to the test with our first algorithm, the bubble sort. If you have ever studied computer science or started learning sorting algorithms, the bubble sort is likely the first algorithm you had to learn, because it's simple and easy to visualize. So let's say we have a list of five numbers, and we want the largest numbers to be placed at the end of the list. We start with the first element in the list and compare it against the second item. Is it bigger? Yes. So swap and move on to the next element. We do this again and again, and eventually we'll see that the largest element has moved like a bubble to the top. We do this with every element, and eventually we don't do any more swaps, and that means the list is sorted. And this is exactly what we will do with our bars. So after a quick look at the basic implementation, we have successfully implemented the bubble sort. Woo! Except, since there's no delay, the sorting is instant, and we can't actually see, or should I say visualize, the process, which is what we need. So, after adding a little delay in between each bar swap, we have this. Well, it's working, but I guess the delay wasn't so little. Let's change the delay again, and there we go. We can actually see the process of each bar bubbling up to the end, and so we can have a nice, sorted list of bars. Excellent. However, it's still actually not so easy to see the bar moving or swapping because they're all the same color. So with a quick color adjustment, we can see each bar as they move and swap. Look at them go. That's what I'm talking about. However, this whole site still just looks like a cat threw up on the page. So let's do a little redesign to make things look just a little nicer. While looking for inspiration, I came across this visualizer and their bars looked beautiful. In fact, so beautiful that I took great inspiration from it. And with a great dose of healthy inspiration, we have a page that looks like this. Still a plain and ugly page, but it's an improvement. Now, whenever someone wants to view an algorithm, especially if it's for demonstration or teaching purposes, it's a much better user experience to be able to be in control of the speed of the algorithm and the amount of items in the dataset. In this case, our bars. Thankfully, that's quick and easy to add. So now we've got a size slider between five and 1000 and a speed slider from one millisecond to 1000 milliseconds, or I should just say one second. So the speed of the algorithm can be changed in real time to be as slow or as fast as you like. And now we can view the bubble sort again at a nice slow pace. Oh, and you may have also noticed that I made two more design changes. The height of each bar, so they're all proportional relative to the amount of total items in the data set. So we have a nice staircase looking pattern, also inspired by that same site from earlier. And I added a pretty cool looking grid background, just so the background isn't so blank. Now, all that's left to implement is the other sorting algorithms. <laughs> there are a lot of sorting algorithms out there in the world, but I don't think going through the process for each and every single algorithm would be that interesting to watch. But if you would like to see the other implemented algorithms, you can check out the GitHub repo linked below, which should have a live link to this site. And hopefully, if I haven't messed everything up, you can view everything there and view the code too if you like. Good night.